Corey Mitchell, 1,000 rounds of golf. What I'm doing is talking about a drill that I used to help me out the car accident and to help a lot of the golfers that I serve on limited mobility. What I mean by that is what we're looking to do is increase range of motion and apply a little sense of timing or a sequence of events. So what I have here is a sand wedge and you can do this drill with a seven iron or shorter. I prefer a seven iron or shorter because club too long would kind of stretch you out, would get you a little bit too uncomfortable too soon. So what we would like to do is hang this shaft down right over the line that our feet make and we just want our body to turn. A lot of you may not have the range of motion to be able to get your back completely to your target in this position here, but if you can get here, you at least know how you should be training yourself in your golf swing. You can get more over time, right? So we're, what we're doing is rocking the baby, as I would like to call it. This is stage one. Stage two is when your right hand gets back down in between your toes. To the best of your ability, get your right pocket there. What I'm doing here is I'm not taking this shaft behind me. I'm taking my left arm out in a straight line. This prepares me to a balanced follow through. And this is where most golfers have the biggest issue. They are unable to complete their follow through out and up as much as possible. So most golfers to feel strong, finish very, very flat. We want you to finish up here. That stretches your wings. What that does is that allows you to follow through on your golf swing without a lot of inhibitions to get to a full follow through to what we would like to see on TV. But the good part about this drill is if once you realize you're getting here and see how my right hand kind of goes out to three o'clock, I know over time I can increase my range of motion with this drill. If you do it on a daily basis for about a minute a day, you won't have any issues by this time next year being able to get your body to reach all the way through for a full follow through. That full follow through allows you to be able to get to what you do naturally a lot easier. If I like to stop here, that means my body's slowing down at this point. I'm kind of limiting my range of motion to my follow through. But if I can get all the way through here, this is easier to do. Corey Mitchell, 1,000 rounds of golf, limited mobility.